I'm Bruce Tuff, principal of the Tuff Law Firm. We are a full service law firm serving the greater Woodlands area and the greater Houston area. Contact us at 281-681-0808. We're tough for you. And now, the veteran voice of the legal fix, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Lone Star State in Montgomery County, Texas, for a brand new episode of The Legal Fix, a new age radio show presented by the Tough Law Firm, the toughest law firm in town, with the toughest lawyers around, answering your toughest legal questions. Introducing first, Hosting out of the red corner, the big deal, Bruce Colson. Ha! Joined by Boy Wonder, Brandon Scott Riley, and Super Lawyer, G.I. Jerome, the Golden Boy, Jeremy Lee Hall. Thank you, Bruce Buffer. <laughs> yes, I am the big deal, Bruce Tuff, and... Uh, Hey guys, man, how you doing? All right, Excellent. All right. hey, we're on the cusp of Christmas, so I'm gonna wish y'all an early Merry Christmas. I got my Santa hat Merry on. Merry Christmas Eve. Let me fix that a little bit. The right presents here. are I underneath mean, the tree. Yeah. Does that represent cool. coal? Yeah. Look at this. Is, no, it's a special dark. <laughs> the dark say, Santa. Yeah, the dark Santa, but it Krampus. matches my headphones. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to. Okay. Krampus and Carol. He's a Christmas villain. Krampus hey, and Carol. Yeah. Hey, who's this guy next to me? I, that a, like I think young, it's, his, it's a baby boy wonder. Yeah, he yeah, puts yeah. the boy in wonder. Be beardless wonder. Beardless wonder. What yeah. happened to you? What did you do? That's the question to What is that? Yeah. What had so happened was. I did all this work with my little buzzer, yeah. and then I ran the dial the wrong direction and put it at one, and yeah. I just missed and just nicked the whole thing. Yeah. And it was well, just gone. That was you, the end of it. You know yeah. who does. So you, I was looking at myself in the mirror this morning because I think I'm, I look ugly this way to me. Oh, my and God. And I was looking at myself in the mirror, like trying no to comment. psych myself up. And my wife walked in and said, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that you look in the mirror more than Vince Santini does. You oh. do. Yes, you do. Yes, <laughs> I, let, yeah. I was like, I'm you're, out. I'm done. You're out. I'm done. You're out. You're out. So. Yeah, you're, you. I mean, you're different. I have to keep looking at you from the side. I'm just going, who is this I didn't this know guy? who he was, dude. So yeah, I pulled the fire alarm my, when I first saw uh, You flattened the top of the my, mullet and you act. It does you accentuate the, yeah, it the looks, mullet. Yeah. It looks much bigger. Right. It makes the jerry yeah. curlier. Yeah, yeah, my gosh. Smart team. <laughs> hey, I love the your hat. The juices are dripping. G.I. Jerome, I love your hat. <laughs> Thank you. I good. appreciate that. Yeah. That's real good. All right. Well, the suit looks well nice Merry Jerome. Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Jerome. Merry Christmas. Yeah, you got a Christmas tie on. Yeah, thank you. Merry Christmas to all of our listeners yeah, out there. Happy, Merry Christmas yeah, Eve. Happy, and I'm going to be traveling. I'm going to Lake Tahoe, so I'll be going. Uh, I'll, be, but I'll be on the show New Year's Eve. I'll call in from the airport or from the ski <clears> slope or something sweet. like that. Okay? Nice. Is that just, in California or that Nevada? Is, it's half California half nevada Both. you can okay, ski cool. in the state of california and ski in the state of nevada state to state it's very cool yeah excellent well guess who we have we have our very very special guest uh bill colby who is here he's a 97 year old cool. young world war ii veteran and i had to i had to twist his arm to get him on the show <laughs> he, 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 he wanted true. he wanted to know all about the show and what we're doing and and so uh, he is gracious enough to show up on the show, and um, just a little bit that I know about Bill Colby, but I'm going to have uh, him talk about him. A um, friend of my dad's, Colson Tuff, they met at Rotary. They were actually sitting at a table talking to each other, and uh, he said, hey, you know, what you doing? Oh, yeah, I'm Bill. Oh, hi, I'm Colson. Uh, where do you where do you live? Well, I, I I live here in the Woodlands. I live on a golf course. Well, I live on a golf course too. Oh, good, good. You play golf? Yeah, I used to play golf. I play golf too. And so, where'd you go to school? Oh, I went to school in Michigan. Michigan? Where in Michigan? University of Michigan. What? I went to the University of Michigan. This Whoa. is my dad and Bill Colby right. talking to each other. And he goes, "So, what did you do before that? Oh, I fought in the war. <laughs> like Whoa. like what war? World War Two." You did? When did you do it? Oh, you did that too? Oh, and you know, had a lot of commonalities. A wholesome you know? Me Too movement. Yeah, the two just met each other and 
Ha and then they were became great friends. And uh, Bill actually saw my dad uh, uh, yesterday morning, right, Bill? You yeah, I did. Visiting Colson. I did. And, and he looks good. He looks good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he remembered who you were. Yes, so he did. Good. Sometimes he didn't remember me. Yeah. <laughs> he told me he, <laughs> he didn't remember me. He remembered me. He does. Yeah. Well, he, he would never forget yeah. you. Right. Um, so, Bill. He's uh, a great guy. Oh, we had a lot you. of good times together. Yes, sir. Awesome. I, I love sitting with the two of you at Rotary mm -hmm. because right. if you, anyone didn't speak up into the microphone, you let them all know, right? Right. right. Yeah. Can't hear you. you got to speak up. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> no, no. All I right. was. You would. Colson would say that to the oh. people. Yes. You know, uh, if Judy Larson or, you know, it would just be oh. funny. Yeah, yeah. Judy Olson and. And uh, you know, Julie Martineau and, and whoever the speaker the was Julies. at uh, at the uh, yeah right, at the right. Rotary and and Colson would say speak up I can't hear you exactly yeah. Yeah. Right, do you ever right. Nolan Ryan him in the head with a napkin no no, no never don't. do that do you don't do yes. that at Rotary no. I thought you threw we, napkins no we don't okay. no uh -uh. but Colson and I went on trips we went on cruises and we went on bus trips we had a good time together. You yeah. you are also a General Motors executive, mm -hmm. and you have thirteen to twenty patents in your. No, I have thirteen. Thirteen I have patents. 13. Whoa, and then and then I try to keep the statistics that Bill yeah. Colby has. He's this guy is fascinating. So mm -hmm. here's another one: bombing missions over Japan. Nine or eleven? Eight. No, eight. I had eight. eight. I was I was. Uh, Scheduled for 11, but unfortunately, planes crash at the end of the runway and that sort of thing, and you can't take off, and so we were canceled. But I had I've completed eight missions, and I thought one the engine failed or you were oh, shot yeah. down on one and, right. and you had a crash land. Right. So oh, you don't count those. Okay. Well, oh my God. Wow. So we had to land at Iwo Jima. Oh my God. Right. So how old wow. were you when you were a, I, a I, navigator when, in I World War II? Oh well, I went in at 19 and I was 21 when I was uh, uh, in, a navigator and radar bombardier. I was on the uh, on a B-29. And the B-29 was the first plane that was pressurized and also the first plane with uh, radar. And I was the ra radar bombardier and navigator. And most of our missions were in night missions. They weren't day missions. They were night missions because of the radar. Mm -hmm. And we would, uh, I was stationed in Tinian, which is in the Marianas. It was just north of Guam. And uh, we would... Uh, we would take off, and uh, a complete mission took about 14 to 15 hours and to get up to Japan. It was all over water. And uh, once we made landfall, then I, I would usually sleep until we got up there. And, and then when we made landfall, uh, they'd wake me up, and, and I'd find out where to start with the radar scope and find out where we were. And then from uh, once you find landfall, then... We would go over to what we call the initial point, and and start our bomb run. That's what we would start our bomb run. And so I would communicate with the bombardier, and uh, once we met the, uh, we got to the initial point, and when we were on our bomb run, I would tell him where we were and how. Or I would not tell him. I would tell the bomb site, because the bomb everything went into the Norton bomb site. And the Norton bomb site opened the doors and and dropped the bombs at the right time. So as we approached the target, I would tell him how far we were from the target, and the plane was on automatic pilot completely. All every the whole plane was controlled by the Norton bomb site. And where and was that at? That, it... That's at the bombardier, and that's right in the front of the plane, okay. the nose of the plane, and it's uh, uh, the the pilot, co-pilot, and our are side by side and the bombardier is in the center at a, at a little lower level it's, and, it, is that and, early computer it's a computer right? oh yeah early it computer is. that it's, was used to right. calculate where the bomb site drop right. would be and the time and everything right. else right. but you entered all the calculations to set that up right that, well i told i told him where we were so he could enter it the bombardier then could enter it into his bomb site and the bomb site then determined what when to drop the bombs in order to hit the target, and uh, and and that was pretty much it. Uh, we we uh, carried uh, twenty thousand pounds of incendiary bombs. Each squadron uh, was made up of thirteen planes, and uh, twelve of them would carry incendiary bombs, and one would carry demolition bombs to scatter the scatter the fire. Now these. Uh, 
incendiary bombs had a little propeller on the front end, and they were set to go to open. The bomb would open uh, 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 about 100 feet above, above uh, the land, and then these little incendiary bombs would come out and scatter throughout. And, and of course, uh, the Japanese uh, construction, most all of their buildings were uh, inflammable, and so uh, they, would, they would start to burn, and then, they, and then the demolition a bomb plane would come over and, and scatter the fire even more. And, uh, and so then we would, uh, we would after our bomb run, we'd just, we just head, start heading home. And, uh, and of course, the ACAC fire was immense over target. And we, were, we lost one, year, one time, we lost one engine. And uh, it's a four-engine, um, B-29 is a four-engine plane. And it, uh, you can still fly with two engines, but barely. But we... Uh, uh, we headed home with this one, just uh, three engines, and another plane uh, uh, in the group uh, went beside us, and uh, we got to Iwo Jima, which was about halfway between Tinian and Japan, and and we had to wait to land because there were so many planes coming in to land that had been shot up by by uh, uh, the uh, Akak fire, fire, and uh, so we. We land. We finally did land, and uh, and then just left the plane there and came back to Kenyan on another plane. Hey, Bill. When That's now? Where did you get? Um, were uh, did they train you beforehand, or did you go to school? Oh. I know you went to the University of Michigan. So did you? Oh. Were you already trained as a engineer navigator before oh. you went to in in uh, enlisted in the Army Air Corps? No, I was not, Bruce. I was I was just a a kid, and I <clears throat> was 19, and I started at the University of Michigan, and and uh, I actually I graduated from high school, and then in September I I graduated in January, and in September I, uh, I I I went to the University of Michigan, and then the uh, the war effort started. Everybody was was uh, either I was going to be drafted or I needed to volunteer, and so I. Uh, in October of that, of, let's see, it was uh, 43, I, uh, and, uh, no, 42, October of 42, and I enlisted as a cadet because my future brother-in-law would look so good in his uniform, and, and I didn't want to climb around in the mud, and so I thought that was the place for me. And so I then, in February of the next year, which was 43, I was called up and went down to um, Miami Beach for basic training. And then, uh, and then I went to a uh, gunnery school. They taught me how to be a gunner, air aircraft gunner, in Tyndall Field, Florida. And then, uh, and then uh, the, all the schools for bombardiers, pilots, and navigators were filled. So they put me in a, a, a college, Western Kentucky State Teachers College, that I had just to wait until I was classified and then uh, go, go to one of the schools. And so I, uh, at, while there, they gave me 10 hours of, of flight training in a, in a little Cessna. And uh, because I couldn't line up the two sticks, in other words, my depth perception was poor, I, I could not be a pilot. So they classified me as a navigator. And I went to Salmon Field, uh, 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 Louisiana Navigation School and learn air navigation, and uh, I, and that was about uh, oh I don't know three or four months, and uh, and then when I gra uh, graduated from that and got my commission as a second lieutenant, uh, they kept me there to to uh, be an, uh, <clears throat> to teach the next class, and so uh, I I took another three or four months and with the next class. And then they, and then they sent me to uh, radar school because I, I probably would have gone over to Europe instead of Jap over to Japan if I had had not been a teacher for for the semester. And anyway, they taught me. They sent me to uh, Victorville, California, uh, to be a, uh, a radar bombardier and navigator. 
and so I went to school there. And at that time, we, it was it was a lot of fun because we uh, were able to go down through San Bernardino and down into Los Angeles, and we met many many people and. Uh, it, it was, and, and we just had a lot of fun. I think that, that translates time. to many, many girls, yeah, not many, did. many people. That was just kind of a polite way of, <laughs> a lot of people. San Bernardino, California, <laughs> we did. Uh, you know, an air jockey. Mm. Uh, I know that all the navigators are trained mm. as pilots as mm. well, so you could fly a plane mm. if you had to. I know that. Well. Well, so, I I would be scared to do it, but I could, you know, I, I think I could probably, whether you, I could land it or not, I don't know, but I could fly it while it was in the air. But uh, but anyway, then uh, after I finished uh, the the um, um, radar school, I went to Tucson, Arizona, and got my crew. And uh, there were 11 of us in the crew. There's a bombardier and, and a pilot and co-pilot and a radar oper radio operator and a navigator in the front of the plane. And then in the back of the plane are the, uh, is the uh, top, top gunner and the, and the two side gunners and, I, and, the, and the radar bombardier. And then we had a tail gunner. So there were 11, 11 of us. That, is that the same crew you stayed with the I, whole time? That, I did. That you flew did. the nine mi or 11 missions uh, over Japan? Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. That, 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 was, that was it. That was yeah. the same crew. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and that it, that was that was exciting because uh, taking off from uh, Tinian, we had a hundred. The plane, as I recall, total was one hundred and thirty-seven thousand pounds, and we had twenty thousand pounds of bombs. And I don't know what the weight of the fuel was, but anyway, we had we would go down this runway, and the the, the islands were cliffs. They were they were had cliffs at the ends of the runways. And so we would uh, uh, go wide open throttle, of course, with all four engines, race down the runway, and and then uh, at the end of the runway was a little little uh, mound. And as heavy as we were, once the plane started to bounce, the wheels started to bounce. You pulled up the wheels and 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 went over the cliff, and then dropped down on the water to gain airspeed so that you could climb. Did anybody so not make it off that cliff? Oh sure. Oh, oh God. sure. <laughs> oh yeah. We well that was the three missions that I, we didn't go on. One of two of them, as I recall, where uh, planes crashed at the end of the runway. We uh, one time we we were uh, racing down. The, well, we were one of them racing down the runway, and um, about halfway down the runway, my the. Uh, Pilot yells to the co-pilot, cut the and the engineer. I forgot about the engineer. He was there too. And anyway, he, he said, "Cut the engines." And they cut the engines. And of course, we didn't have reverse props in those times. They were just forward props. And the and the plane just and they put on the brakes. And I had my pilot was a small guy and my co-pilot was a big guy. And they just leaned on the brakes and uh, we went right down almost to the end of the runway. And before we stopped, and when we got out, everything, the wheels were all flat, and uh, there were aluminum wheels. The rubber rubber was gone, and and uh, it was uh, it was an exciting experience. That's a long walk well, back to the hangar. Yeah, yeah. long walk. Now that now you said that was an exciting experience. Mm -hmm. Was every bombing mission the same? Where you caught the flak, and you knew that once you made the drop the bombs, you had to get mm -hmm. back, but you could have been shot out of the mm -hmm. air, and it was like. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, in white it, knuckle it, experience. Yeah, we had. Yes, there was there was flak on every mission, uh, and uh, the day missions were a little more exciting than the than the uh, night missions because you went over individually at night, but you went over in formation during the day, and and uh, uh, we did we did uh, get some flak and on uh, one of the day missions, and we. As I remember, we also lost an engine there, but uh, but we were always kept with other planes kept with us on the way back, so we didn't we didn't have is, problems. Is, what does flak mean? Is that getting shot at? That that's, that's, that's uh, ak ak. It's ak ak. It's re, it's little pieces of of metal that are shot up in in a in a uh, a, 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 a a large bullet, and then the bullets. Were, Explodes and these little pieces of 
Oh, shrapnel come out. Try to rip up the yeah. engines and the so that's wings. enemy firing. Yes, yeah. enemy, right. It's, it's right. Right. Yeah, so, um, Bill, I'm going to take a break just mm -hmm. for we're going to take three segments. We were, we were going to do our 30-minute show. We're going to do an hour show. I can tell you're just mm -hmm. uh, you're fascinating. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. we'll take a, we're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to come back. We're going to also put you on the hot seat, but I want to hear a little bit about your career at General Motors as well and a few of the things you did there but was there a time did you and was there a patents. maximum amount of yeah and he's these patents was there a maximum amount of missions that you could fly that that they said okay that's enough you're mm -hmm. out or do you i think it was 35 okay i think it was how come you only served what you well, only we, flew we in? Went, what the we, heck you're a see, slacker well right we are we are we were a got eight more than us combined i know I, <laughs> we went we were a replacement crew we went in near the end of the war see we went in in june okay and in july and then it ended in august and and we went in at the end of the so we replaced another crew that left in 45 okay. you were you were in at 19, you were in at 19 and you got out at 21 so you yeah. your whole service oh was goodness. was uh was what five years four yeah, years? It's three and a half three years. and a half years three and a half okay. years i served right. i was anxious to get out yeah. i I wanted to go on with my life. I heard that there was another very exciting part of your life is when you completed your missions, they sent you back on a troop ship, but it really <laughs> wasn't a troop ship. It was a medical ship full of nurses. Right, right. That's what it was. Now, was that 300, 300 nurses and 100 officers. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that's All the way from Hawaii to to um, San Francisco. Oh, and that was, a, was that a that slow? Did you have to tell them to slow the boat down on the way? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was pretty slow. <laughs> it was good. Well, what can you share about that story with us? <laughs> well, well, that was that was right at the end uh, end of the war. I I didn't have enough points because we were a replacement crew to come home. So I had to stay on Tinian for about six months, and and then I and then they evacuated the. Uh, natives from the island you see the island of tinian in the beginning uh, uh before the war was a, they raised sugar cane for alcohol for the japanese and uh, and so um they uh we processed all of the natives to move go to okinawa and places like that and they sent us over to the philippines to uh oh golly i can't remember the name of the field over there near manila uh -huh. But but anyway, they sent us over to the Philippines, and that was by uh, troop ship. That was awful. It was uh, uh, one of these old converted freighters, and uh, I don't know how many decks there were, but uh, but you, we just slept in a hammock, and the and the person above you was right right up in, in his hammock, right next to you, and uh, it was hot as could be, and uh, quite a few people got sick. I was fortunate I didn't. And uh, then we get to uh, Manila Bay, and we come into Manila Bay in this troop ship, and here are these uh, native boys in their, in their little canoes, and they're dying, diving for coins. You know, you throw 50 cents over or whatever, and, and they would dive down and, and get this coin and then put it in their mouth and hold it in their mouth. And, 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 um, and they were after, of course, cigarettes was one of the things that they were really really uh, precious and uh, then when we got off uh, off the boat uh, uh, the boys were th there and pom uh, pom my sister uh, two two pesos you know yeah. that sort oh, of my. thing yeah. that sort of thing mm. oh yeah and, mm. and uh, um, I don't know if I should have said that or not. No, that's you okay. Say no, you everything's want. good with us. You can say anything you want yeah. on this show. A lot this of color true. commentary. Yeah, yeah, it is. Is. yeah, that's so perfect. I don't think anything has changed over there. No, it hasn't. That's but so Manila was really bombed out at I'm that serious. time. It was it was truly bombed out. And so I, and there were so many boats I'm in the serious. bay, in Manila Bay. Been, so yeah, many freighters in Manila Bay. I know that was. But, uh, but now, oh, we, now we get to you. What your your awesome. comment about the um, about the, uh, the the boat back from Hawaii? Yeah. Anyway, nurse, we, nurse, we, press nurse. the call button. Nurse, and read I right. have a rash. Nurse. It won't go away. Right. Yeah. We we had uh, <laughs> we when when I was uh, I was sent back on a war weary navigate a war weary from the uh, Philippines to uh, the Hawaii. And then we left it, left the war where we at Hawaii, 
and then and we stayed for two days, and then and then got on this uh, uh, ship. Uh, was it was it was it was, a, it was a small ship. It was and but there were three. I remember there were three hundred nurses and one hundred. Uh, um, officers. I don't they were all what, officers. I don't care what kind of ship it was. Yeah. <laughs> 300 nurses. Yeah, yeah it yeah. might as well have been a it Disney was, cruise. Yeah. Was, uh, but that was it. And I've, I've been kidded about cruise. that a lot. Uh, I, I, I shouldn't have told it, I guess. <laughs> that's well, we great. love that story. Um, okay, let's take a quick break. Um, we're going to give Bill Colby a break, mm -hmm. and then we're going to come back and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about General Motors, and then we're going to talk put you on the hot seat. Woo! Okay. We'll be and right back. All right. Patents. I'm Bruce Tuff, principal of the Tuff Law Firm. We are a full-service law firm serving the greater Woodlands area and the greater Houston area. Contact us at 281-681-0808. We're tough for you. One final time, here's the veteran voice of the legal fix, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Attorneys are licensed by the State Bar of Texas. Our three lawyers cross-examining the witness are Bruce Huff, Brandon Riley, and Jeremy Hall. And when the action begins, the witness on the hot seat will answer as many questions with the fewest words as fast as they can. The hot seat is sponsored by The Legal Fix. A new age radio show brought to you by the Tough Law Firm. We're tough for you. And now, for those listening on the radio and legal fix fans watching around the world, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the Legal Fix Studios in the Woodlands, Texas. It's Time! One lightning round for the undisputed Legal Fix Hot Seat Championship of the World! Hey, Bruce Buffer, thank you for introduction for the hot seat. This is a That's new part happy. of our show. Bruce Buffer has graciously, he's Bruce been watching Bruce. our show and he says, Well, I need to introduce you for the hot seat. So uh, thank you, Bruce Buffer. The veteran All right. voice of the league. All right, face. so Bill Colby, uh, believe it or not, he, you though. know what he did? He brought his aviators. He brought his 70-year-old plus no, no, aviators. If anyone's not scared of the hot GI issued. Is that what he called it's it? GI. GI. That's government issue. Gover G oh, High GI. five. High five. Uh, uh, nice. <laughs> wah, wah, wee, wah. Wah, 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 wee, wah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Bill, have you seen the hot seat before? No, I have not. Okay, you're about to serve as the witness in a rapid-fire cross-examination where you'll answer tough questions from the three of us as fast as you can. Oh so I'm going to swear you in now. Oh, my goodness. Raise your right hand. I do. State your full name for the record. William Harold Colby. Excellent. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and your version of the truth to answer the most questions with the fewest words as fast as you can? If you say so, yes. He All ready. right, he's ready. Let's put on the timer. Oh, there. There he goes. So we're on the timer. <laughs> oh How my. do you spell Kobe? K O L B E. Are you related to eh. Kobe Bryant? No. Was your bomber named the Black Mamba? No. How about Jelly Bean? No. Did you change your bomber number from 8 to 24 to honor your father? No. Is it true you went to Michigan? Yes. All right. Are you a Wolverine? Yes. Have you ever met Hugh Jackman? No. What's your rally cry? Rally cry, yeah. Go, go blue. blue. Go yeah. blue. Yay. How, how, Yay. Many, how many kids have you fathered? Two. Who's your favorite? Neither one. Both of them. Neither. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are cold for Christmas. Cold in your stocking. Naughty list. Because I love my kids. <laughs> I know. How many We've, wives do you have? Just one. Just one. How old are you? 97. Do you eliminate all of your birthday candles in one breath, or is the fire department involved? <laughs> fire department involved. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever received a permanent? 
It's short for a perm. Per- it's a perm. Permanent. Long yeah, no. per- perm your oh, hair. No. Like Boy Wonder. Long like for a perm. No. Girl. What kind of hair products do you use? Uh, oh, gosh. I can't think of it. Have you ever rocked a bristle brush? Mustache? No. A four-star stash? I never star? have had a mustache. A little lip salute? No. Okay. How never. tall are you? Six foot one. Did you used to be taller? Yes. You said that I you, was an inch taller. You said that you went to teachers' college. Is no, that uh, no? I that was just for a short time. In, in, interim, teachers. waiting for what happens there? Is that teachers teaching teachers how to teach other teachers? No, I think it's just the, uh, other people trying to be teachers. Okay. Yeah. Next. Isn't it true that you wear glasses just for style? No. What's your eyesight? Uh, well, it, it, I, it's they're for reading. Okay. I my I just twenty twenty five and twenty fifty. I've Ooh. got the macular degeneration. Yeah, in that's eye. what mine is now. This one right here is shot. <laughs> show them your <laughs> eyes, Bruce. No way, I can't show them. They glasses. are shot. It will scare. Honey badger punched him in the it nose. It will scare that's the crap out of him. Let's this. call Echo Hudson. Next yeah. Halloween, will you go as Bernie Sanders? Will I go as Bernie Sanders? For Absolutely for not. How about, How about Joe Biden? No. Milton Friedman? No. Oh, Milton Friedman. Uh, we like he, that guy. Yeah, he's all right. He likes numbers. Yeah. What about Bernie Madoff? Bernie Madoff. Warren, Warren Buffett. Bernie Madoff. Warren Wait Buffett. A no, not Bernie Madoff. Okay. He's no. the, yeah. He was that. Uh, yeah. See, I told Warren you, Bill. Buffett. He knows, Warren yeah. Buffett. You, yes. All right. Yeah. How about Clint Eastwood? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. He'd be a good Clint hey, Eastwood. He'd yeah, hey. be a good Clint he's Eastwood. Uh, do you have a will? Yes. Do you have a prenup? I uh, no. How much money did it take for you to retire? What was your number? Oh, dear. Call yeah. Schwab. Plenty. Uh, okay. I, I, Objection, that, that, non-responsive. That's hard to okay. say. I don't what, know. What's, Next. what's the most humble job that you've ever had? Uh, most humble job? Probably uh, uh, cleaning latrines in the, in the Army. That's it. Woo. Yeah. Do you have social media? Uh, yes. How often I, do you check w- it? Well, I... I no, I don't really. I, I've got it, but I don't have it. I have Facebook, but I don't use it. So does that mean you just troll other people? Yeah, okay. I just, I just, uh, yeah, I, you, I get the information. When you ran the training course, did you wear short shorts? When I was in training Yeah, course. when you ran the training course, the obstacle course, did you oh, wear yeah. short shorts? Oh, you yeah. Did. Do you still lift, bro? Uh, do I what? Do you still lift weights, bro? He works out. Uh, right? yeah. A little. How, much, works, do, how not, much do you bench? Very, very low weight. Just how much on the five. thigh master? Uh, More than <laughs> Suzanne Summers? He, he does a lot. He, do, he works out every I, day. He yeah. told me his I believe stretching it. I ride a bike a half hour. Kick all day. of our butts. Yeah, yeah. he does. I, so, I, I ride a bike, a stationary bike, a half hour every day. Peloton. Because of my nice. knees. Yeah. Sum nice. up your life philosophy in a word or phrase. Your whole life philosophy in one word or phrase, if you have one. Uh, my wife, I guess. Well, good. That's good. a good one. Nice. I love it. Yeah. What's one thing people That's don't know about you that you want them to know? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> one interesting fact. Uh, one interesting I, I, fact. I can't, I can't think of a... Uh, hmm. We'll okay, come back. We'll give you a pass. Objection, back. non-responsive. You know, okay. Uh, you should take me off that one. Okay. Yeah. You uh, can so pass anything you want, Bill. Yeah, you Bill get gets unlimited pass. passes. Yeah. 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 Special, special rules for Bill, Thank isn't you. it? So it's true. You're a World War II soldier. You flew bombing missions over Japan. How mm-hmm. many successful? Yes. How many? Eight. How, eight successful. Eight, and how many did you consider failures? Zero. Zero so. failure. What's the coolest thing you ever blew up? Uh, well, the, the three that I didn't go on, I guess those were failures. Okay. Yeah. What was your favorite target? Favorite thing you ever obliterated? I I, I don't. Uh, Probably. I, I didn't feel that way about it. Okay. 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 Then I'll pass on my next one. No. How many kills did you have? So that uh, no, he probably knows you that. Ever, do you I, know how many kills you yeah. have? Oh yeah, because they they'd always tell us afterwards uh, what how, what percentage of the of the city we would, would have destroyed. Nice. For example, they they tell us the 85 percent. Okay. Wow. Well, it was high. Oh, it was high least. because of the of the, uh, of the fire, fire bombs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Incendiary. they estimate like a hundred thousand were killed in that. It probably, bombs, right? Oh, yeah. probably. Have you ever met General Patton? Uh, no, I have not. How Did about General MacArthur's? No, no. General Motors? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. How, no. How about Admiral uh, Nimitz? Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Doolittle. I met him. Oh Would you my gosh. In that? Dr. He, he lived next door to us when I was a, a teenager. He, uh, 
he lived next door, and he uh, had two boys, uh, and the younger one was the one I palled around with. Bob was his name, and uh, uh, when he he would he worked for Shell at the time, and he uh, when he'd come home from and from wherever he was it was, he he dive over the house. Uh -oh. You'd hear this wow over our house, and then in a few minutes out would come Mrs. Doolittle. And she, the garage was in the back of the house, and oh, she'd come and get in the car and go. And she always, she always dressed the same. She always dressed, dressed in gray suit. She was a, ni a nice looking woman, mm -hmm. and had gray Sounds hair like the batch. Cut, cut across the. Jimmy, Jimmy, is it? Jimmy Doolittle flew to Japan, right. knowing he could not return and had to f ditch in the. This is after yes. Japan uh, bombed uh, Pearl Harbor. Yeah. He, they got on an aircraft the there. They course. flew. Uh -huh. They flew and bombed Japan and says, "Look what we're going to do to you." And then they knew they couldn't get back and had to ditch in the Bruce, ocean. where's the question? Got him, coach. Mm -hmm. Okay, isn't okay. it true you work for General Motors? I did. Next, how many patents have you worked on? Thirteen. What's, I got. I have thirteen. Patents. What's the coolest patent you've had, ever done? Your coolest one. Oh, uh, the one that made most money for uh, General Motors right. was the automatic temperature control air conditioning system. Thank you for that. Wow. Oh, that, my it, God. That's the one where you just we set the temperature yeah. and, and the, High five for that one. Yeah. the car goes High to five. that. High, High five. five. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. What's the best kept secret at General Motors? My, what's the best kept Ooh. secret? I watched a movie with... Bill okay. on John DeLorean, and he knew every one of the executives, including John DeLorean. Yeah. By yeah. the way, that's that's, that's the how cool this guy, guy is. Yeah, the, the guy that did DeLorean. He knew, well, okay. he I, knew John. Oh, yeah, DeLorean. I know John DeLorean. Yeah, yeah. I, knew, I, I worked with the executives of General Motors, the uh, uh, vice chairman, and and the and the various uh, managers of the divisions. That's when you were there, did you ever make a coworker cry? Work. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think didn't so. Come down. I never. Anyway. I never did. Okay. No. What's your top? What's your top unchecked bucket list item, Bill? Do you have oh. an unchecked bu bucket list? One thing list on your item? bucket list. I don't think I have any, Bruce. I. Uh, uh, I'm. I'm. I've had a good life. At yeah. a boy, 97, I mean, checked them all. I want to be there one day. I know. Day. He's I want to be there with one day. food for I, life. I, I, I found the wa the woman that I, of the love of my life, and I have great kids, and and I had the I, I lived through the war, and I had the, I love my job at General Motors, so I really don't have any life. Well, any, this is why they call them the golden generation. Greatest, That's awesome. greatest generation. That's right. Right. And and. Um, you graduate from the University of Michigan, right. Big M, and they're what they rank number two now. They are so Harbach and, is and back. He was their quarterback, and man, yeah. and they you're play rocking. Georgia. They yeah. play Georgia New Year's Day. Yes, New Year's Eve. Who you with me? No doubt. Who are you going to root for, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> I I hope they beat Georgia and also Alabama. Yes, sir. So, okay, right. one food for life. South. What would you eat? South. One food for life. Oh. What would you eat? What? Uh, one food for life. What would you eat? Favorite food. Oh, I yep. like smoked salmon. Smoked I, salmon. I, I, okay. like, I like smoked salmon. Salmon. What's the fastest you've ever gone in a car? Oh, my. Probably 150. Uh, oh, How about oh, in a plane? Oh, oh, he was test driving those. Yeah. Yeah. How about in a plane? What's the fastest you've ever gone? Oh, well, that that was that was uh, the uh, B-29 cruised at 250 and it's probably 300. Whoa. Was to, texting well, in, in an airplane? I I guess the jets now. You know they they go six fifty. So oh my goodness! I guess uh, I guess that would be it. Was it's texting small. and flying a big problem back then? Texting and flying. texting and flying, or they told <laughs> texting you, and navigate, they navigating told you, and flying. Yeah. It, c it can wait. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite World War Two movie or show? Your favorite World War Two movie or oh. show? Oh, I don't remember the name of it. It was a. The, the Band of Brothers, Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, yeah. Good it, was, ones. it was it was an old one, and, and I don't remember. The I took Olson to Saving Private Ryan. He had to oh. get up during the Omaha landing. He he really got to him. Yeah, he yeah. got to yeah. him. Uh -huh. Yeah, I saw that it Saving was, Private yeah, Ryan, but that, that was wasn't rough. it. That wasn't my okay. my favorite. Uh, what's I, your favorite place you've ever been? Uh, Vienna. Who's your favorite person you've ever worked with at GM or in the military? Uh. Well, he's since passed on. Bill Steinig is his name. Okay. Who, how about least favorite? Hmm? How about least favorite? Most hated arch enemy. 
Oh, I can't think of his name now. He was my vice president. <laughs> I love it. He <laughs> thought of him quick, though. Didn't okay. <laughs> All right, Bill. Churchill or Truman? Who do you pick, Churchill or Truman? Oh, boy, that's tough. Yeah. That is tough. Uh, I, I guess, uh, I guess, I, I don't know. That's tough. They're because both they made, they're this, both they made great decisions. I know I had to get, yeah, I, both I was trying guys. to stump the bill. Okay, yeah. who's smarter? Bill. Who's yeah. smarter, you yeah. or your wife? My, you or you? Who's smarter, you or your wife? Oh, I don't know. I Ty. can't answer that. I, 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 I uh, who's smarter? I don't know. We'll right. we'll say her. We'll round yeah. round yeah. round up to her. You, yeah. That's okay. all right. She did everything. I I worked and uh, I brought in the house. paycheck, and she did everything else. She she made all our social arrangements. She raised the kids. She nice. raised the dog. She, nice. did, she did everything. Like She's smarter. Nice. She's like smarter. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred hundred yard dash. You versus Bruce. What weapon do you use to neutralize him so you can stroll to victory? <laughs> <laughs> Stun gun. Makes me use a walker. Ba baseball to the head. Taser. 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 I like yeah. it. Don't taste me, bro. Yeah. Don't taste What's me. a better pet, a German Shepherd or American Eagle? Better pet, better better pet is German Shepherd. Boy. Yes. Would you rather eat winter, Wiener sch Schnitzel in Berlin with a reluctant member of the Third Reich? Or medium rare dog in Tokyo with a kamikaze pilot who never made it off the bench. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to eat a dog. I wouldn't want to eat a dog. Wiener schnitzel it is. Wiener schnitzel it is. Rusty Hardin or Tony right. Busby? Rusty. Rusty Hardin, Rusty the Hardin. attorney, or Tony Busby, the attorney. The I, other attorney. I don't know either one of them. I Do you know who that. Deshaun Watson is, the quarterback for the Texans? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Why oh, yeah, he's. He's sitting in the in the. He's uh, sitting out for ten mil this year. Why, why does that guy need so many massages? Uh, I. I <laughs> 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 he must hurt a lot. He, he must. must. <laughs> okay, Bill. Um, Bill, did you love the hot seat? I'm fine. Yeah. Good job, Bill. Good job. Good. Good. Good job. So Very Bill good. was a little apprehensive. He wanted to know what the hell the hot seat was. <laughs> yeah. he, he goes, what are you guys going to do? I said, you'll love the hot seat. Yeah. Just kind of roll with us. He is so good about Attaboy. He, he, he is so good about everything. Man. All right, Bill, we, we went through World War II and the highlights of World mm -hmm. War II. The bombing missions mm -hmm. and then the troop ship back on the nurses, mm -hmm. the, the 300 three to one. nurses. Yeah, three, three to one, one. baby. Right. Yeah. Did, did, did you, you meet a girlfriend? So. Did you have a girlfriend on that ship? No, because <laughs> because I met my I met my future wife in Tucson when I got my crew, and oh. we became engaged. Oh. And, uh, and I, I wouldn't marry before going overseas. In fact, I lost my high school girlfriend because she wanted to get married before I went overseas and I refused and she married somebody else. Whoa. And so but my future wife I wouldn't marry and, and and after I came back and went back to the University of Michigan, then at that next Christmas uh, uh, vacation, that's when we got married. Oh uh, wow. Was, what a story. Was in forty six. And your wife's name? Joy. Joy J O Y. And, and your two kids. And my Tricia is yeah. my daughter. Right. She's the oldest. And my son is James. You have a nickname for Patricia. What do you call her? Pud. Pud. Yeah, Pud. that's cool. My mother called her Puddin. Okay. Puddin Pan, and so that stuck with me. Yeah. When you got yeah. married at Christmas time, when's your anniversary? Yeah. It, it, uh, it was December 21st, uh, the shortest day of the year. Okay. And uh, that's my anniversary. Winter solstice. How many, how many years? Well, they, uh, well, so when she, she passed away in, in uh, 2012, okay. and we had 65 years together. Wow. Oh, my God. Congratulations. That is, uh, now that there's is something incredible. To to. That is one. incredible. Absolutely. I am so sorry, and that's a regret, that I could not meet Joy. Mm -hmm. That was I wish I had mm -hmm. the opportunity to meet yes. her, but I've seen many pictures of her and had dinner mm -hmm. in your house, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was just finely decorated mm -hmm. and you know, beautiful woman. Yes, so, yeah, she yeah, was. She, yeah. Was. You're, she was. Yeah, you're a blessed man. I, 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 am. Yes, I am. I am. Thank, yeah. yeah. yes, thank, thank you for your service. Yes, thank you. Thank you. It's incredible. About General Motors, you're, mm -hmm. now you're an engineer. Mm -hmm. You're an engineer by trade. So yes. You graduated the University of Houston, I mean, University yeah. of Michigan, Wolverines. I'm, I'm that's Cougs. Yeah, Go Cougs. That's yeah. me, yeah. yeah. Big M, big M, money. right? Mm -hmm. And what's it like going to a football game there in the big house? Is it just like It's wonderful. Yeah. We... Of course, when I was going there, we went every every to every game, and it's it's a uh, it's a uh, 
Fritz Chrysler built it. It was a it's a it's a bowl really, and uh, it's the largest stadium in the college largest college stadium. I think it holds 111 or 113 thousand. Oh, wow. wow. It's bigger and, than NFL and, stadiums. And it's yeah. it's a uh, it's it's a great stadium. Amazing. Great Big stadium. M. Does it ever get cold in any of those games? Do you remember going? <laughs> oh to <a> sure. <laughs> Oh sure, Gold. and then you get you get into the latter, latter uh, months of the year. Right. It always gets cold in Michigan. Michigan is a, it's Michigan is a lovely, lovely state. Uh, it's cold in the winter, but in the summer it's, it's, glorious. it's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. We were planning a big trip with Colson and Bill and mm-hmm. myself and Diana Honey Badger, and we were mm-hmm. all going to take a Great Lakes tour. We mm-hmm. got intercepted by COVID for mm-hmm. damn that damn COVID mm-hmm. again mm-hmm. Right. took us out, plague. but we didn't get to do the Great Lakes. But that's mm-hmm. a big regret mm-hmm. too. But we did do the Mississippi crew cruise yes. with Colson and Bill. And that was wonderful. That was so much fun. It Bill. Was, that it was, was a. It was. You're a good traveler. Yes. You are yeah. a good. Tra- you're you're, you're <laughs> well, fun I, to be I, with. I, I thank you very much, Bruce. Yeah. You know, I enjoyed I enjoy Colson. He's yeah, great. He is good. Yeah. Well, Bill. I, one, one, yeah, go ahead. Well, I was just going to add. Uh, it's something you might be interested in because you're uh, everybody likes sports cars and everybody likes the Corvette, I think. Oh, and, yeah, oh yeah, and, I love Corvettes. And uh, just a, a point of interest the way that started was uh, our uh, our uh, 20th Air Force General LeMay was his name. He went to General Motors and he asked General Motors, the chairman, if they would provide a sports car. For his officers, and so he, uh, uh, the of course, uh, styling was just enamored by the, with it, and they had they had various uh, uh, re- renderings, and, and in fact, Oldsmobile at the time was the uh, the futuristic division of the General Motors, and they had a, a car that will look just like is like like the first Corvette, but but so they. Instead of giving it to Oldsmobile, they gave it to Chevrolet, mm. and Chevrolet just had the Line Six engine and a, and the old suspension and so on. So they and they they built this fiberglass body, uh, which was like the Oldsmobile body, and put it on that car. <coughs> and of course, it wasn't a sports car. It was it looked like one, but it didn't handle like one. It didn't go. It didn't throw you back in the seat or anything like that. And so Ed Cole was our president at the time, and he said that he wanted to make that a sports car. So he got a guy who maybe you've heard of is Zora Arkus Dentov, and he was a Russian engineer. And Zora became the the uh, chief engineer of the of the uh, Corvette, and he made it a car. And Ed at the same time designed the beat the small block V8 engine. So we had the small block V8 engine, and 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 Zora designed the suspension. And Zora, in fact, the the new Corvette with the mid engine, they calling the Zora, and and uh, which is uh, uh, after after Dunsall. Well, anyway, one of the, the my uh, in, in, my part in this was the development of the fuel injection system mm. in oh, 1957 no. 50, it came out in 55 57 it was a mechanical fuel injection system and that was my project and so i worked with zora all the time on des- on designing that and of course what it does is is uh, fuel injection you put the the nozzles right at the inlet in, inlet ports and uh, where the inlet valve is and you open up the intake manifold, so you reduce all the restrictions, and you get a lot more power out of the size engine. And so that was that's that amazing. Was, oh my God! I appreciate that. I drove yes, I one. drove a oh. 2003 Z06 for 15 years. The oh, 50th really? yeah. anniversary oh, edition. Yeah. Recently well, sold it to my father-in-law, well, Joe Diaz. Well, you so can thank carrying it on. Uh, thank Bill thank you for, yeah. for the I fuel had a lot of fun in that car. Yeah. Thank yes. you for fuel injection. That's an amazing thank you for machine. air conditioning. <laughs> thank yeah. you for air and conditioning. For air conditioning. Thank you well, for catalytic converter, too, I did that. Oh, wow. oh, that, oh that's That all. was the first okay. one. Catalytic converter. Wow. And, and thank you yeah. for that saving for uh, the world from uh, yes. communism. Yes. And fascism. All in a life's work. Thank you. Wow. Amazing. Just wonderful. Well, Bill, thank you so much. It's been a great honor to have you on the show. Thank you for coming on the show. 
And I want to thank everybody for tuning in to Legal Fix. This is brought to you by the Tough Law Firm. Uh, please call us if you have any legal questions, 281-681-0808. We are working through the holidays, or visit our website, toughlawfirm.net, or ask a legal question to any of our uh, specialists right here. To get the latest legal fix, please subscribe to YouTube channel or connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and you can watch past episodes or highlights at toughlawfirm.net slash legal fix. Forward slash. Thank you, Bill Colby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is such an honor to have you on the show. Thank you, Bruce. I'm signing off. I'm the big deal Bruce Tuff for Boy Wonder, Brandon Riley, Super Lawyer G.I. Jerome, mm -hmm. Jeremy Hall. We'll see you next Friday at noon for the New Year's Eve episode of The Legal Fix. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Bye. Merry Christmas. Oh, oh.